Hello guys, Dying Gaming here and welcome to another Minecraft video. This episode I will be showing stuff which is called Prison Architect. I'm going to do this really quickly because I don't have much time because I've been busy with stuff. That's why I'm doing. So as you can see I have 30,000 30, pounds. I have daily cash flow. Wait, what? Is this like glitched? I just paused it. Something really weird is happening. Hey, so, you start the game with this one, and you get a... <laughs> okay. Dear sir or madam, congratulations on completing your basic in induction. You are now fully a qualified prison architect. Soon you'll be designing, building, and running your own prison starting from nothing but an empty plot of land and a few stacks of bricks. Before you get started... I I thought I might share some important lessons with you. Every prison needs a warden. He should be one of your first hires. Build him a nice office and he'll open up a whole range of advanced facilities via the bureaucracy system. Individual jail cells are expensive, especially early on when funds are very tight. Save money by starting with a single large holding cell, which can be shared between many prisoners at once. Get your kitchen and canteen up and running before the first prisoners show up and be sure to hire some cooks, nothing irritates a prisoner more than an empty stomach. Many items require a water connection, water is provided by a water pump station, and pipes are built in the utilities view. Use small pipes to connect individual items together, then use large pipes to connect back to the station. Small pipes can only carry water so far before we lose pressure. That's about everything. Good luck. The CEO, Prison Architect Corporation. P.S. Share tips with fellow architects. That okay. So now that's done, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to change that. Okay, I'm gonna close everything. So, so now I'm not gonna have any prisoner, prisoners coming in at any time soon. Okay, so basically, in the game, I'm gonna start off by making some walls and stuff. Okay, first I want to build over here. I'm gonna make a small holding cell. Small, I say. Okay, that's gonna cost right there. Okay. Get to work. Okay. So, as you can see, there's multiple things in this hole. And okay. You see foundations where you make for buildings, as you see. Materials so you can make walls, tiles, and different things. Wounds where you can. So I'll be showing that in a minute. Um, objects, you can put objects like beds and toilets and stuff into different rooms. Then staff, you need a workman, guards, and these things are the these things are opened as you go on further into the game. This is when you need water and stuff. This is for the fire engines and stuff like that. This is for planning, just in case you're not sure what to do. And this is for dunno. Oh god, I did something bad. Okay, stand back. <laughs> I didn't break anything, I promise. Okay, so now, as you can see, I'm now gonna change... I'm gonna need a, a object of a door. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put a door right there. Why does this keep happening? Every time I play this type of game, this happens. Ah, there you go. So now, I'm when he's doing that, I'm gonna get this holding cell. Why, why didn't that work? Okay, once the door is in and everything's finished, you'll see the whole building being finished. Ta-da! Like magic, you know? And then he's putting in the lights and I'm putting in the holding cell. So, it has to be at least 5x5 five five and closed indoors. It needs a toilet and a bench. So I'm getting some cash flow from stuff. So now, as you can see, I'm just going to put in some benches, like there and there. I'm going to put in a s two toilets, just to be nice. So now, I'm actually, just to make this a bit more interesting, I am going to actually reopen my report and open some low risks. Okay, as you can see, I need electricity for you. Six. So back over here, behind this building, I am going to put in a power station. So it's going to be over here, I'll put, 
and then I'm also going to need a water pump station too. So I'm going to put those not right next to each other, about that far. And I'm also going to put in some electrical cables going like this and then like that because they don't need to be connected to each light. It's just then I'm going to do this to here then actually boom and boom like that and I'm also going to need a capac capacitor there so as you can see those are going in now and yeah so basically the whole idea of the game is to make your own prison and for doing so you would be you'd be building different types of rooms so a room like this I'm going to put in a... This is just me doing it really quickly. And if you guys actually want me to do, like, a playthrough for this, I will actually start again, because, yeah. I'm going to put that there. And then, once all that is finished, I'll be putting in for a office, so I can put my little warden in. Cost a thousand pounds a day. Wait, 200 a day. Oh, okay. I just need a power for a minute. Okay. So, as you can see now, the power station. Oh, I forgot. A second. This actually is kind of funny. This electricity to work. Okay. As you can see now, that's all starting. That's got electricity, which is. Once that's going in. He's there. Okay. And then, once that's finished. Okay. Oh my god. You've got to really be quick when you're making quick games like this just showing quickly what it is it needs to be yeah yeah okay so now I'm gonna need some more items like for instance uh, an office desk so a desk a chair and also a filing cabinet so wherever that is I'll find it so okay so now you just have those stuff and yeah and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna put in a warden into his office. Okay, so I can't have any more wardens. I'm gonna need some lights in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to put in the lights for getting my electrical cable into here. Like that. Okay. So as you can see there's a thing here. If that goes over to the top then that means that it's overheating and uh... yeah oh my god I have to do this so quickly it's insane because I don't have like any time at all these days because I've been like planning stuff and my parents are doing stuff and we have um, someone from Ireland over so um, it's a bit it's kinda hard to be able to upload at the times I want to upload so yeah, I'll, I'll be recording more soon, hopefully. But if I don't, I'm not able to do any more videos for a while. This is why. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just. Okay, this is all I need for now. And if you click on Warden, oh wait, no. So now, as you can see, I have opened up a new thing called Bureaucracy. And as you can see, I have a Warden. And you can unlock finance, security, prison policy, maintenance, education, health, and mental health. So all of these things unlock, except these three, unlock new things, and you can get dogs and CCTVs, and yeah, you can get a lot. So all of these, and the chief, which look like as a warden. So I've now. Warden, I think. Okay, as you can see now, I think. Okay, so as you can see now, this is basically the whole game. I'm just saying. I'm probably gonna stop it now. If you want me to make this a kind of series, I will. So as you can see, you can make different types of rooms like cells, solitary, canteen, kitchen, showers, yards, uh, execution rooms if you want to. It's a really interesting game, just to have some fun, and some of the things that people have made are completely in amazing and awesome. I don't know how we do it, and if you really need money while playing this game, guys, this helps. So, you just boom, 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 boom. 
Oh, you can't accept more than two grants. That's annoying. Okay, so you can. So now I have all these things to do. So I need uh, two guards, a canteen, a kitchen, a yard, a shower. So basically, yeah. I'm gonna close that. Okay, so basically, yeah. This is basically the whole game. And I would show you some things. But, like some prisoners, but it could take a while. I'm gonna. Just in case I can get <coughs> some. So basically, you have 20 workmen to start. Oh, this close. Oh, hello there. Oh, bye. So you can just do that type of stuff. And, um. Oh, it's beginning to go, go into night. And as you can see, do I have enough space for eight? I think I do. There's enough space for eight. And the one thing I'm gonna need is a guard or two. I'm gonna get two guards just for when the if the prisoners do come in this episode. So yeah, basically. I'm going to zoom into nothingness. Okay. That's all I have time for. I'm sorry for such a short episode. But this game is really fun. That's all I'm going to say. If you want to play this, the it's on Steam, I think. I Yeah, it's on Steam. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Because this game is fun. I'm just trying to make the... Um, thing longer. Wait, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when the prisoners come back, okay? And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back and uh, I hope that I edited that well enough. Okay, as you can see, they are here, so now, boom. So, as you can see from up here, we have eight prisoners. Oh, there's bad stuff. Yeah, they need, don't need these things anymore. So we have, oh god, pause. We have Felix Ranger. Duncan Brindley. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, then we also have Dan Crouch, Mark Olsen, Tom Williams, I like that. Andrew Lim, Adam Bell, and Joshua Morrow. Sorry if I said any of those wrong. I don't know. Okay, so I'll just speed up a bit. Wait! Wait, did you just... Oh, oh, he's uh, urinating. Is he gonna run away? Don't you dare run away. Okay, so now they're all being taken to their thing, and this is where they'll stay until, obviously, I can sort more stuff out. Um, as you can see, my daily cash flow has gone up, so I get more money every day. So yeah, this is actually not too bad. I didn't do too, too, too bad. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, this is weird. Ooh, I can hold zero prisoners at the moment, but but they, none of them are actually safe. Okay, how many? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they're all here. I'm gonna stop now. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. This is my best video. So please leave a like and um, if you want to tell people about this channel, go ahead. I don't really mind. And I. Oh yeah. Hope you guys will subscribe to join me on this long journey through YouTube. I hope you guys. Wait, what does this mean? Ha! <laughs> no. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!